Uh, good evening, everyone. A lot of new people we have today. So I'll introduce you to the Lando Lecture Series. Uh, so Lando Lecture Series was begun as the, uh, at Villa Bethany in uh, three and a half years back. And this is the 36th edition. And we've had people from all walks of life. It was begun by four language students uh, at the Lando, Le Lando Lecture, Lando Language School. Uh, they were from different countries and different parts of the world. And as we moved on back to their countries and back to their work, I, with the help of other people, took this on. And uh, I'm very glad to be you know, back at Bethany to have this uh, lecture. And uh, it's, a, it's a huge honor for me to have Mark Windsor give a talk on the, the history of Missouri. You'll introduce yourself? I sure. Guess. Yeah, but uh, this is a bit. <laughs> uh, on a personal side, uh, Mark has had a huge contribution in a lot of my works. Uh, he's given me so much support in the uh, Masuri Heritage Center. In fact, his, his support has been the main one in the beginning when I had no hope of really continuing and everybody said, what are you doing? <laughs> you can't be doing this. You'll make no money. This has no sense. And uh, this is illogical. This is whatever. Uh, and I remember his support being very, very important for me at that stage. And also linked it on when he always uh, shared information and included me in a lot of other projects, uh, even though I was such a big name in it. And I'm, that's the reason also that this is like such a huge honor for me to be really hosting a talk of his. And he's leaving Missouri for some time, hopefully. We're going to be back soon. So, oh, hopefully coming back, not hopefully leaving. Hopefully <laughs> <laughs> coming, coming back soon. Uh, we'll be really missing them. So this is also the reason that uh, this talk is very important for all of us. So, Mark. Thank you, Survey. Gosh. Gosh. Thank you, everybody, for coming. It was all people I knew, and now there's a whole bunch of people I don't know. But uh, um, <clears throat> if you haven't lived in Missouri for a while, hopefully this will still be of interest to you. Um, so thanks, Surabhi, for organizing the event and, and keeping the Landau Lecture Series going, which is a fantastic thing. I just love the fact that Woodstock and language students and other people on the hillside, people staying in hotels, can get together and have a social time, which is great. So tonight I have two um, slideshows that I'm going to show up on the TV above. I hope it's big enough for you to be able to see the pictures clearly. The first is um, a series of photos with um, old photos that I've collected from a whole bunch of sources. Um, and then with the modern photo as well. So I started doing this quite a long time ago with encouragement from some people who s saw this on, on Facebook and uh, ended up publishing a book uh, of which some of them are to do with Woodstock and some of them are to do with Missouri. So you see some lovely old photos on the wall. Some of them are ones I've got copies of as well and I've tried to go to the same place and take a photo of those. So that's the first slide. So the second one is, um, is to do with maps. I've just got two maps here. This is a 1946 and 1968. These are both Survey of India maps, so they're quite good quality and, and accurate. But there were a lot of other maps that were done before that. So I just want to show you some of the cool maps and how Missouri kind of developed. And specifically looking at the value of maps in terms of seeing how things develop. So there's just three little postage stamps area, postage stamp kind of areas on the maps which I want to look at through a whole series of dates just to see when roads appeared, when houses fell down or whatever. So we'll have a look at that and hopefully that's interesting to you as well. I just need to make a little bit of a disclaimer in that I'm not really a historian at all. I, I lived here for quite a few years as a kid, and growing up, history was my most hated subject at school. <laughs> yeah, there was a bit of that. I've grown a great beard to try and look the part. I hope it fools most of you. Um, but I'm a bit ashamed to say that when I was a child, you know, I really didn't explore Missouri. I, I didn't even know that George Everest lived up here in Missouri and what an important bit of history that is. So, um, you know, we went out and explored, but we always went out and we always climbed Nag Tepa and we didn't really explore and, you know, I didn't have access to these maps at all. What really got me going was um, a chap who's 10 years older than myself went through Woodstock School who's, who's been collecting a lot of Survey of Indian materials and maps and they're all online and I can give you access to them if you want but there's an 1844 map we were talking about just earlier on which really 
got me going. I've, I've got maps in my blood. My parents both love maps. They love to see where the old roads used to go and where the new roads are going to go. So I've grown up with that. And um, with the 1844 map, I mean, it was a long time before the British knew that they were actually leaving India. And they still felt like they were here forever. And so all the hillside had their house names on it. And um, I'll show you the map a bit later on. But I started looking at those houses and I thought I'd really love to discover and see where they all are. So I made it a little project of mine to sort of just get out there and hunt for these houses and photograph them. Mm -hmm. A lot of them have fallen down. It's too late to really capture them as they were. But I'm thinking that in a hundred years time, somebody might look at my photos and go, well, that's what they were like in, you know, 2015, yeah. 2016. So yeah. I've got them all captured and we'll hopefully store them safely with as many people as possible. Um, I think my interest in the old maps kind of comes from, um, you know, I really think the British Raj era was really fascinating. The whole colonial era was really fascinating. I know it's not a great thing for India and the people who were sort of ruled, if you like, but it's still such a fascinating time in history. And there's so many uh, hints at what life was like. Um, I lived for a little while down at Herbert Poor Christian Hospital and the people who started that hospital were as close to the British Raj as I ever got. You know, they, they came out here before the British Raj got sent packing and they still had some very British ways about them, you know, jolly shalbash and all that sort of thing. <laughs> so, um, I guess it's, it's a little bit of my childhood comes into it. I didn't live here during the British Raj, but you know, if I had a time machine, I'd, I'd certainly want to go back and have a look. Um, so when you, start, when you start digging and looking at, at old photos and old places, you start, you start discovering some of these great old shots. And you see the same ones coming up over and over again because there's a, there's a finite number of old photos from the very early days. But um, obviously it would be, seem strange to me to not want to go and see what those houses look like nowadays. And um, so that's, that's what I've put in the book. Um, I'm not trying to sell my book because it's very expensive, but if you want to see the photos, it's kind of expensive because it's hardback, it's full of color, and it's printed on demand, which makes it an expensive book. But um, what I did was primarily for the benefit of Woodstock alum, who, who love to see the old pictures of Woodstock, how it was. But um, I'm actually, hopefully before we leave, going to find a nice clear day and, and go and take a whole bunch more photos of Missouri. And, and make a book that's just Landauer and Missouri then and now instead. So that'll be of more general interest to people, I hope. Anyway, let's, let's uh, start this up and see if we can look at some of the photos. Will that automatically kick on or has that gone into... No, it's um, gone into a revolution. Yeah. No, just... Uh, Oh, yeah, it's back. Sorry, Mark, before you start, can you just switch off the second switch there? This one here? Yeah, the second one, yeah. That's <coughs> then, I think. There we go. <laughs> no, that's just an aerial shot. I don't know if you know that, but there's a... I love Google Earth. And um, there's all these amazing shots of just the weirdest places and and you can actually do that in Google Chrome when you open up a new tab it comes up with a, a photo of some amazing place so that's just one of them okay I do have the opportunity to um, I think let's just see if this works does that work you can see that up there yeah. Yeah. okay cool so this is the the very first postcard which I took a matching photo of and um, it's looking from the bottom of Mullingar Hill back up towards Mullingar. You can see the modern shot. So that's Mullingar up there. But what was of interest to me was this church here called Standish Hall, which I didn't know about. I didn't even know it was there. It's surrounded with ugly concrete buildings now. But you can still see here. Um, I'm just wondering maybe if this might be a better way to do Is, is this too... Okay, so you can just see the um, the church-shaped windows that are still there visible if you mm. if you look up in that direction. Where is that? It's from the bottom of Mullingar, looking up. 
If you were walking up Malangar Hill and you just pass, pass Inam's tailor on the right, there's a little cut through. You can walk up there and take a shortcut up to Malangar Hill rather than on the motor road, and you'll pass the church right there on the right. It was built with uh, money left over by Philander Smith, who did a lot of good works around the world. When he died, his wife put the money into building Standish mm -hmm. Hall. Um, Philander Smith also had a school running out of Mullingar Hotel, which, I mean, Mullingar is what we call it, but it, it had probably, I don't know, at least five or ten different names over, over, the, over the history of the place. But that photograph is actually from the Gurdwara Chok. Huh? Yeah, just, just at the very bottom. Yeah. Okay. So does anybody recognize where this is? Because it took me a while to work this one out. The jail. Yeah, it's, it was a, a prisoner jail, so we kind of... Theater Road. Yeah, it's called Theatre Road because up that road, just behind on the right, um, there was a theatre. We've got some old pictures of that. I'm not going to show them to you tonight. It later on was a gymnasium, um, and then it fell down, and the items built a very big ugly thing like they like to do on top of where that used to be. But my new shot is out of date already, because if you've walked past yeah. Kellogg Church, you'll see that that whole just, guard room slash prison has, has been worked on quite a lot. Yeah. Just recently. Watch, 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 watch. Oh, yeah. No, that's Kellogg. Kellogg is, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what denomination it is, but... It's, like, it's not denomination now. Yeah, it's into denomination. It's got its own flavor. Yeah. This was another postcard that challenged me for a while. It says Barlow Gunj, and I thought, okay, Barlow Gunj, but I really can't think where that was. And then I realized it's just that man on the road is, is the road, the original walking track up to Missouri. Okay. And um, hmm. oh. on top of the hill is JP Hotel. Oh, yes. So it looks. The road's widened a lot, and, and the photos from a bit further back. Just another kind of disclaimer is, um, when you're taking a photo, sometimes you think you've got it right, and then you look at on the screen and go, I should have been way further back. And sometimes you just can't get the same shot because we've got a lot more trees than we did. When the British came, they chopped down everything to build houses and keep wall. And the trees mean you have to kind of stand at a different angle a bit to get the same shot. This one is obviously um, Bata Falls, but what I love about it, which I didn't really realized to start off with is that there's there's two men in this picture yeah. in their Garwali you know outfit and here I was waiting for these two jolly jokers to get out of the photo but they didn't so I just took the photo so this is what's happened to Indian men uh, they're throwing their clothes away and they're running around in red underpants <laughs> this is um, a photo of um, the road going down behind Balahasar Estate, which has just recently been resurfaced. If you will. so, the buildings up on top where the where the thing is, that's that's the uh, Weinberg Allen School, Allen School specifically. And what I quite like is is down here. There's a house called um, Ingleside, and it's still there, and you can still see the sloping driveway going down to it. That's still the same driveway. This original yeah, servants' quarters is being developed into something much better. The White House now, right? That's the White House Hotel. Oh no, White House uh, Hotel is down beyond Barlow Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this this is just. Um, this is yeah. This is, this is all with the school actually. So yeah. White yeah, So Bala Hisar was the name of this estate, and it's named after a place in Afghanistan. It means rocky outlook or some such thing like that. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's, it's got some famous stories about it in terms of where there was an Afghan royal man, you know, locked up there for a while. Do you know if the Engels who were connected with Weinberg were a part of the same Engels family years ago and oh, came yes. back to it? Because that's where... For Engels' side? Yes, that's oh, where he know. lived when he passed away. Okay, no, I don't know that story. He was, he was amazing in candle making. I've never seen anyone like that. He that's was right. so good. He's so Okay. And he was headmaster of Weinberg Allen for some years. Okay. Just near there is a house called Opeless as well. Yes. It's just yes. got a new sign up. I love that because the guy had a sense of humor because his Oakland, and Oakville, and Oak this, Oak Dean, Oak Dad, and says, well, there's no Oaks here, I'm calling Miss Oakless. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this is just a view behind um, Camel's, back, Camel's Back Road, an old photo with 
18, can you read the number? I can't, 18 something. Eight, it's 1886. Yeah, and it's got a nice hall of God sitting there, which didn't used to be there. Here's a picture overlooking Sotheby's house. Before and after the clock tower. <laughs> so, um, Castle Hill Estate. Yeah, that's Castle Hill. You can see the. Castle Hill, yeah. I don't before know. the trees built the Castle Hill Estate, I mean, there were two houses there in 1844 called Woodcroft mm -hmm. and Green Mount. And um, there's quite a few other houses on the estate. One I quite like, which um, was built on this little flat area here, is called Dunedin. It wasn't a New Zealander. Which we have a city museum called Dunedin, but it would have been some Scotsman would have built that. Um, it's been built and fallen down since. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this is another very old old um, photo which comes out of the Woodstock archives, and of particular interest is this building right here, which is a church called All Saints Church. You can see it on on this map, but not on that map. Um, so we can't get to it because the only way to get there would be to go through the Survey of India and they're very restrictive. Although I did do some cut climbing and, <laughs> and came up to that church from below, hoping to find the church in ruins, but it had been totally removed and the house had been built and that's in ruins now. So it's, it's going back quite a long time. That's actually also a private property also there. It is private property. It's not actually part of the Survey of India, no, so you can theoretically get up and back without interfering, but I just... Oh took advantage of being there, wandered around and came out the gate and there was no yeah. Chucky there at the time, so... Mm. He was more dirt many years back. I didn't get locked up this time. <laughs> yeah, I should say, one thing I meant to, meant to mention at the beginning is that, you know, there's a lot of people here with a real interest in history in Missouri who know a lot of great stories that I don't know about, so please, this isn't a lecture, this is a, let's have a, a nice discussion and interject with stories anytime you want to, that's cool. Yeah. Whitewash, mm -hmm. which I think is really what's holding it together. <laughs> but that's the, it's the lich gate going into the cemetery on Camel's Back Road, and there's a lot of um, famous, famous people down there. Anybody recognize where this shot is? The bridge is the clue. Yeah. Yeah. So this, this building here is called the rectory, and I can't get the same shot, but it's looking down over the top of Chardi Khan, which is just on the left there. The, the rectory, I, I'm guessing, used to be where the, the minister for St. Paul's lived, the priest, whatever. But that's just um, a guess. It's now um, an ITM building and it's behind barbed wires. And to get there, you, you take that first drive that goes up if you're going along the chucker towards New Lao So where were you standing when you took that? I just, I just went up. Um, if you go up towards Rokeby, there's a driveway that Is cuts back up Indian? past the temple. Um, and I went up there and um, and just climbed over the fence and got the best view. But and this, is, this is another classic example where you can't get the exact same angle because of trees. So this building hasn't changed all that much. There's some nice original features. But this is Clark's Hotel opposite um, Chick Chocolate. Well, they've now built a... And Clark's Hotel is um, named after Mr. Clark, who along with Mr. Trevelyan, um, were famous tailors from London. I think they, I think I might be wrong, but I think they operated on Savile Row, which is, you know, is a famous area in London where you get suits made if you can afford it. Other people go to Hong Kong. In that previous picture, uh, they've come up with one more floor over the, like, the new one. Oh, oh since the new one? Yes. Yeah, they've come up with one more floor. Oh, really? So, yeah, they've not matched it with the original one. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to go and have a look. I haven't even noticed that. I zoom by on my motorbike too quickly. Um, this lovely old photo, which is just taken out of a, a book that's been published here in Missouri by, by Ganesh and um, Ruskin, is a very old photo of the front of Clark's Hotel. And back in the days when there were rituals and... Clark's Hotel? This yeah. is a library, right? This big... No, no, no. no. no, 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 no. That's That's this is opposite Chick Chocolate. It's the same hotel. I'll, I'll show you a picture later of those arches. That That's matches actually. that picture perfectly in Library Bazaar. No, though that is still there. That's just been changed, in fact. Where you're talking about the Walnut Grove, uh, that... Uh, no, that, Walnut? That building. No, I understand which will be there. Yeah. But th this is actually where it used to be a uh, cloth. Uh, a, a drapery house. So this was Trevelyan and Clark, very, very famous uh, during that period, uh, during the British period. For um, so both buildings looked identical. Many arches were like these at that. Are time. you talking about the uh, uh, whispering windows? Building? Yeah, whispering no. windows. Yeah, yeah. Where's the one in the library that? I'll, I'll 
Okay. Um, I'm just I'm just quoting what was said. Um, I did look behind all the mess that's there nowadays, and I did. I mean, the, the door is kind of like the one only feature that you can actually see, and the door looks. But it's impossible to see um, the arches; they've all gone or changed or something. I can't remember now. This is one of these lovely etch etchings. There's um, there's three of them here, yeah. and um, I've got a picture. Of this one I'll show you. This one here I was really puzzled with because the mountain in the middle I could never kind of work out. It, say, it says on the bottom, it says Landau, and I was, think, I was always thinking from the Woodstock side, it's not Witch's Hill. What is it? Unless the artist has really been smoking something interesting. <laughs> but um, <laughs> what, what makes it a bit confusing is the fact that, once again, there's so many trees. But if you go around the chakra from Chardukan and halfway to Wolfsburg, up on your right there's a landslide. Yes. And I went up to the top of the landslide, and I went to the left-hand side, and then I went to the right-hand side to get kind of two views through the trees. And that's why the telephone lines don't match up. But I was trying to match the distance. So that's actually Castle Hill Estate in the distance. And down here you can see kind of the beginning of Taylor's Flat, mm -hmm. beginning of the bazaar, and Mullingar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm wrong, tell me so, but I'm pretty yeah. sure that's the very beginning that's of the book. That's, that's 1825. The sketch? 1825. 1825, wow. Who was the chap who came through and wrote the book and yeah. put all these etchings in his book? I can't yeah, the artist. George oh, Francis yeah. White. White, is it? So he mentions actually staying, uh, he mentions Malingar, but he stayed at the Abbey. At the Abbey, all right. Uh -huh. yeah, so yes, he that's right. He has the entire account of the Abbey, which that's is right. very, very interesting. Sure. And you know the, what you were mentioning earlier, the difference is why you, you know, you cannot make out. So uh, I've seen some of his early sketches. So the sketches would be sent to England to be turned into lithographs or plates. Right. So always there was a difference in the when they would make the plates because the plates would then be steel engraved. Right. So mm. there's always a difference. And, and also there's a little there's a little bit of exaggeration and steepness of hills Definitely. in some of the old paintings. See, because like these those... are also like travel books. Yes. So they were like a travel mm. yes. uh, advertisement to see yeah. how beautiful these places yeah. are. Were the two brothers who came here back in the 1700s mm. and painted pictures all over India. But when they did mountains quite often, I think we've had serious erosion. But I think they, they tried to dramatize and make it all look a bit grander by making hills steeper. But, and here's this, the back side of Kohinoor, so even back then it was falling down. But this, this, this whole building here was a place where they did the lodge. And when the British left, it was still used for many years as for wedding receptions and things like that. But it's fallen down and it's now been replaced with um, a substation for the power company, where they pretend to keep the system there. Okay, um, I've got three pictures here. This one is an old postcard, which many of you will have seen, which is Jerry Piney. And this is Halfway House, where back in the days when people walked up. And you have to realize, when you look at the history of Missouri, for more than half the time, people were walking up here. It's, it's relatively recent. In fact, much less than that. Relatively recent that people have been able to drive right up to the mall. Um, so this, this was probably a little bit later on. People, it was quite a nice wide road there. It wasn't sealed up. But Halfway House is famous for being a place where people would stop and have scones and a cup of tea. <laughs> so have a bit of a break, way up. And um, just in the, in, the, in the background here, you can see a monument, oh. which is to the first white guy to die up here. That's the grave. Yeah. So it actually fell down or went into disrepair. And Oak Grove, back in 2011, um, built this. So if you're going down through Jerry Piney, going downhill, you have the big hairpin bend where you can skip off and go down the walking track. Right up on your left, you can see the back of this. So you can go, you can just walk in the driveway to Oak Grove School, and it's just 20 meters down there on the right. But so this is Sir Charles Bart, who died in 1828. So um, he was on his way up here to recuperate, <laughs> but didn't quite make it. Poor chap. So this is a nice, nice view from, from the side of Gun Hill. I haven't got the angle exactly right, but up here, as you can see, I can't see it so well on this picture, but here's about Clark's Hotel about here. And then you're coming down through the mall here. So in actual fact, um, this field is, st is still this field, but this is a Connaught, Castle, Connaught Castle, Castle Hotel. And Sirby, you mentioned Walnut Grove is just sort of tucked yeah. up around to the right there. 
which I think is kind of infamous for being a, a den of iniquity and gambling and things like that back in the British days. They, mm -hmm. and, and Walnut Grove's quite a nice building to visit because there's still some nice original features inside that. So this building has gone to quite a few different names, but um, the Himalaya Hotel, um, it was the Alliance Bank on the 1922 map, and it's now the State Bank of India. And the, and the nice feature about it is that up on the railing you can still see VI, which is Victoria Empress of India. Imperial, I don't speak Latin, but it stands for Empress, but it's spelled with an I. So, it's a, it's a so nice this shot. is actually also yeah, sanatorium. So I just got a diary from someone who's donated it to me and uh, her grandfather actually came here to the sanatorium. So, you know, for, because the sanatorium in the cant was for the army people. Yes, yes. This was more for people who were not non-military, okay. non-military. Non, non, okay. yeah, yeah. So that's one, one other. I, in fact, I discovered, building. yes, in this, this was a Himalaya Hotel sanatorium. So I have like two pictures of mm -hmm. well, from different languages. Mm -hmm. Recognize this place, anybody? Yeah. Patakat. Patakat. Mm. Jabba Kate. Uh, sorry, Jabba Kate. Yeah, yeah, Jabba Kate. Okay. So this is 1970s as well, before it was paved. Jeff's got a nice old photo of Tiri Road getting paved the first time. First time. Just near Cozy Corner, I think the photo's okay. taken. <clears throat> so frankly, I don't actually remember it being rough. It's just been such a long time ago, and I've been back so many times. But, you know... Wait, we have some pictures of buses. When the bus went over at South Hill, oh, yes, we have a picture from, the, I think, that time of a bus having trouble on Turi Road farther out. Okay. And it was all dirt. All dirt, yeah. yeah. So when, they, when, when was this road built? Like, because there was another, the main old road was actually the other one. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll show you that on this, the map. No, no, the, the lower one, the new... The lower the one was built on Turi Lake. This, this, old. this is the old one. Okay, this is the old one. Sorry, this is the old one. Yeah, one. Right. This is the old one. yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. But, but the interesting thing about Jabber Kate is that the road you're looking at here didn't exist in the 1844 map. If people wanted to go out towards, that, towards the east, they would go to the top of the hill and they would cut down to um, Ferry Glen. And that was kind of the main track out. Uh, but this was not like an old village, Jabba Kate. No. Uh, Jabba Kate, like I think First a lot Jabba of villages. Kate isn't. Second Jabba Kate, I think. Because Suwakoli is some part. No, Suwakoli is way out. Yeah, so Suwakoli yeah. is uh, like an old establishment of the old. Yes. Uh, but not, not what they call Suwakoli now. The original yeah. Suwakoli is before that. The, the old Suwakoli. What happens generally, and, and if you go, for example, it's going out to. Um, Tingling Point, because it's a very new road, you can see how the original villages were down there. A road came in, those are all the nice old classic looking houses, big ugly concrete things built up here on the road to yeah. service and make business from people traveling by. So Jabba Kate, I read somewhere was a village that was quite down down in the valley. Okay. And they were they, they on a lot of land. Because obviously. they have a major water shortage, so it could yeah. be where the water yeah. source was. Yes. So coming up here is a problem. So this is out of date as well because there's a new restaurant built on top of here if you've been out there yeah. by Mrs. Jane. It does a really good Grinwali Thali. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. Yeah. Kellogg Church has been through quite a lot of different facelifts over the time. And I think this was probably the original look. Of so here's uh, Kempty Falls, which we, we motorbiked down just past the other day, and it's, that's where the road is. it's even more crowded than that. But um, all the, I mean, I had, a, I had to use my, my panorama shot from the road opposite in order to get the beginning of the buildings to the end of the buildings. Because yeah. it's not just shops and souvenirs, it's also hotels down there. And um, there's even, you can just see a bit of color right there, that's the aerial ropeway which takes people down. Whereas in the olden days, you used to walk down this little zigzag yes, path, if you can just see it. Uh, well, you've got more than two out here. <laughs> yeah, I know. You, they won't get out of your picture. <laughs> it's funny how the men will strip down their underpants and the women go on with their full shawar. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, Whereas the, the British gentlemen wouldn't even take their shoes off and dip their their hats. <laughs> <laughs> Frightfully cold, old chap. <laughs> so that's a nice, nice view of the library. You've probably seen that.
postcard. Back in the days when the roads looked incredibly wide. Yeah. 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 So the new buildings that were built obviously sort yeah. of encroach. Yeah. 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 When we need more space, they moved to the original. Do you have pictures that show the light post in the middle of the chalk? Um, yeah, the original. Because that's a fascinating light post that yeah. helped me put pictures together, mm. which was only taken down two years ago. Yeah, it was only yeah. recently. Taken. Uh -huh. The, the one in the center of the library. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. You it was just taken it. off like yeah. the two like, It was very ornate and it kind of dates 14. back to the Gologi yes. power station, yeah. Yes. It dates back to after they moved the um, gazebo off to the side. Yeah. Well, that, the band stand, yeah. So yeah. many times. <laughs> it's it's, like it's been years. moved twice, I think. Yeah. No, no, even more. That's been like always mm -hmm. going there, 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 there. And they've got a new like, fountain in the middle now. Yeah. So okay. you recognize this? This is the. The this is the lower mile. Christchurch. Yeah, Christchurch. yeah but j just below the um, Indian the Railways yeah. you know, <coughs> oh, office, the railway station. But the lights yeah. are so interesting, oh. actually. Yeah, and you can see the lights here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very that's interesting. Oh, nice. That would be lit every evening manually. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's yeah. a lovely, nice all, uh, oil oil view. Oil oil yeah, oil, oil lamps. Um, <laughs> would be kerosene at that time, actually. Yeah. This is a road we've all walked down many times, but it kind of looks so empty that we almost don't recognize it, but it's just um, <laughs> the beginning of Coolery. Picture oh. Palace is down there on the left. Wow. Mm. A ritual waiting for somebody with... A lot of these hotels actually came up only in the 70s and 80s, actually not that old. So there's a clock tower before clock it tower. disappeared with the Union <laughs> Bank on the right-hand side. And this old photo of the Coolery Hill Bazaar is uh, this various, various different shots of that. And in the distance, you can see this is the, the children's estate just here. New Lao Timur's just sitting there. <coughs> so this is um, a house which in the old maps was called Bellevue, which, which is another interesting thing. Um, you know, Prakash's Devdar Woods used to be called Fairview. But right next to Fairview is a house called Bellevue, and also one called Bella Vista, a Buena Vista. Bella, Bella Vista. So all three of those mean the same thing, which tells you that they were named before the trees grew. Um, all had a lovely outlook. But this is another Bellevue, but such a long way away. You know, it's, it's private property, you can't go in there, but so you can just tell me it's for sale yes, if you want to buy it. Now its yeah. name is Radha Bhavan. That's what people yes. say. Yes, sorry, yeah. Radha. It's called Radha Bhavan. Radha Bhavan. It's named after Mr. Radha. And, and it's a place where you know you can stand and look uh, through the Masui. The whole picture of Masui. The whole picture of Masui. The whole picture of Masui. The yeah. And the snow views. Yeah. The best yeah. sunset, actually. It's not, it's not on the main ridge line, but it, it's on a place looking from a high point. You can see the snows up behind library, and you can see the dune. But, but um, the point I was going to make about Radha Bhavan is the fact that you know, down in Delhi, so many of the old British names have gone, street names have been turned into <coughs> some Indian politician who wanted to be famous. And we all have our different point of views, but houses up here which were built by the British, I think, e even if the original name was Indian or Portuguese or something, it doesn't really matter. The fact is, its name has got an original name, and I think it's really kind of special to keep the original name of a house. It goes along with the history of it. Yeah. And it seems a bit sad that, you know, Mr. Radha thought, I'm going to name it after me, Bellevue. Maybe he thought, oh, there's already a house called that. <laughs> so this is a view down over the municipal um, yeah. hall and the club and where the uh, town hall was and is no longer. And this is kind of looking across from within the Survey of India property as well. This is another view looking down towards library, but before the library was built, so it's pre-1843. And this, this is the chapel that belonged to the school that was up there before the Savoy was built in 1900. Well, it was called Maddox School. And um, Maddox School, a lot of the kids were kind of heading towards particular professions, and at some point the parents thought, this is all from Virgil's book. It's not, it's not um, really providing what we need. So the kids stopped coming there. And when the numbers got so small, they actually finished off for the last few years at the Abbey. Mm. And, um, and then the school just collapsed. And this property was knocked down and the Savoy was built. This old photo on the left, you won't have seen before because it belongs to my brother. 
because he married the grand niece of the lady who built LCH. So this is from the old photo album, but what I like about it, this is a lady who built LCH, so, um, Jana? Joyce Robinson. Joyce Robinson, thank you. It's almost there. But what I like about it is that up here is what we used to call the rotten hut as kids, but it's White Park Forest. It's yeah. the Muslim house that got burnt down in, in partition, and it's got a roof. So this is, this is 1938, when um, LCH, Landau Community Hospital, was getting built. None of us have ever seen that roof. So I've got one other photo which, which shows it uh, even, even clearer. But, um, so there, there's the ruin down there in the valley, which we, which we can see. And it's, a, it's quite a, a landmark. It's kind of a reminder of tough times in history, which every house in Landauer can look down on. So this is a photo that um, we were discussing before Sunita has just walked out the door. But this is, I think it's called The Gap, and it's, if you, if you go yeah, right up yeah. behind, if you go in towards Radabow, and yeah. you keep going up as if you're going towards Dunsberg Court, court yeah. but you don't go to Dunsberg Court, you keep going up, and you go through this gap, yeah. and you come to what used to be called Albert Lodge, and on the left-hand side are the water tanks, which goes down. So this is the top of Vincent Hill almost. Um, but you can just see down here the, the, the tower from the Chateau de Caputala, and there it is there. And this is a Savoy, so before the Savoy was built. So one coolie and one man bossing the coolie, maybe. I don't know. There's a nice old photo I've also got, but once again, the choky star gets on the way. Which, which says Electric Picture Palace. Hmm. And, oh. you know, we wouldn't call a cinema electric, but back in those days, cinemas were kind of gaslit. You know, yeah. pump up mantle lamps providing the light, whereas Missouri got electricity before Lucknow did. And yeah. so having an electric cinema was a big deal, and people would come and see this beautifully bright cool. picture. <laughs> this is approximately the same position, but... Um, <laughs> The main point is the, the then and now in terms of transportation. We've gone from rituals with two or four coolies to, to uh, cycle rituals. And we've got to take the, now go to e rickshaws. Yeah, e rickshaws are also there. Is about to come? Yes, that's right. I've seen, I've seen one or two. Yeah. We are about to change, actually. I think in a year or two, we'll be totally e rickshaws. Does anybody recognize this nice old painting? It's an interesting view because we don't wander up around the top of yeah. the hill. Um, around there, uh, the ITM area, but once again, it's very difficult to get the same yeah. shot, but that's actually St. Paul's looking down the valley from right above Chardukhan. And there's, there's St. Paul's now, sort of lost between the trees. And there's a path that goes up there. If you want to go up to St. Peter's, um, if you go through Kellogg, the Chokidar will stop you unless you're going to Mass, which is only once a month. But if you go up this way, just nobody will stop you. <laughs> so, <laughs> It's a good way to get up and have a look around if you want to. This is a lovely colored version of, of this here, which is another etching. Um, or is it a painting? I don't know. But it's got the same, it's got the same cloud formation, so it's exactly the same thing. But this has been tinted later on. Um, but what you're looking at is you're looking at the abbey. And if you've not been to the Abbey, it's private property, but if you go, it's just kind of two or three people, and you're nice to the Chokidar. We've been. Yeah. 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 But, but, I mean, I've been ten times with different people, but I've started going to Blue Hill instead, because there's nobody there to bother. But um, I've been up a few times where there's not been anybody, but quite often the, the Chokidar there will come out and say, what are you doing? Uh, except probably in Hindi. So, I mean, this is, this is the Abbey, and you can see the buildings before they fell down. Um, this is Snowden Estate, and on top of that, there's now um, a 90% finished concrete hospital built by a Hindu mission trust. Has it begun? Pardon me? Has it begun? Oh, it's, it's almost Operating? finished. It's almost finished, but it's not operating. No, I, I haven't been up for a while, but... I always wonder where, how they When you look up from Hathi Pao, it's years there, you know, from the village, and you can see that there's no windows and it's not been painted yet. Either. So this is um, the hill to the side of Hatipan, which has been, oh, sorry, this one, which has been severely quarried. And this has got to be Benok Tiba, but seriously, it doesn't look like that. And I'm just not sure that um, 
it ever did. But um, you can see it's a much more rounded hill, but that's one hill, that's the next hill, and that's the other hill behind. So this is Hatipao itself, which is that one. Yeah. So this is taken from Blucher's Hill. And if you've not been there, this is why I take people now instead of the Abbey, and I've taken, you know, exchange students and different friends and people who want to have a look, probably, I don't know, eight or ten times. But there's a, there's a ruin up on top called the Highlands, and it's a lovely old ruins of British, and it's got some nice features still there. And then Blucher's Hill is just a little knob just to the east of it, and it's, it's actually quite a, quite a high point. Lovely view over Happy Valley and down to the Dune. Anybody recognize this? That's looking from Rialto back. Yes, exactly. So this is quality hotel, a quality restaurant as it was. Oh. Still call it that. And this is the Clark's Hotel just up at the top That's end. So. Mm. Yeah. I have to get to that. Yeah. <laughs> so this is just the mall near um, the Kacheri. Is that how you pronounce it, Kacheri? Kacheri. Mm -hmm. One of the earliest kacheris, actually, one of the first kacheris. Law courts, yeah. In the north. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I go on my motorbike every time now, it just saves yeah. maybe 10 minutes. And again, you come up right at the Jarupani turn off. It's, it's, a, it's not a great. In fact, last time I went up, there were two cars coming down. Because <laughs> there, there was a landslide. There was a landslide which limited you to a motorbike, but they fixed it all up. You go straight up to the, the walking roads um, off to our point. Yes. Yes, yeah, right. Is that road motorable now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying that cars just, come down. just opened about a month, two months yeah. ago. Little Tata Nano. Very good. Tight lock. So this is the Kacheri. Yeah. Tight lock. So um, yeah, this is looking from up near Rad, on the way way towards Radha Bhav and down over. You can see just see the Kaputala. Yeah. And you can see this void. But here, there's no Kaputala. So this is before 1900. I'll tell you, uh, Kaputala Palace was, uh, was, was built in the year 1899. The first uh, foundation stone was laid in the year 1896 in September. Yeah. And then it was built by the, uh, the French architect named uh, J.S. Elmore. And it was built for the, the Maharaja, the Jagajit uh, Singh. Yes. Aluwali. Did you come to the presentation at the Savoy? Which, um, no, I was not there. Oh, you should have come yeah. as well, yeah. Now, th these guys, they have that, uh, what do you call it, the, the Mother Horlicks, they produce Mother Horlicks also. Mm. And his son is uh, working for the Louis Vuitton. He's the advisor to the Louis Vuitton in France. His son is just Chaturji Singh Aluwali. Yeah. Yeah. So they're working we, had a, we had a wonderful talk by yeah. Cynthia about the whole history and how yeah. The Maharaj who built it just loved visiting people in the yeah. Loire Valley. It took so. almost three years to build this palace. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I think it was finished in 1901 is what I've heard. 1899. That's what she, she ruled at 1901. 1901? No, yeah. it, it's, it's Actually, also, they added two more towers, so maybe that was... Yeah, it's little yeah. because it's embedded uh, in the front of the chatty. Yes, yeah. yes. There's a stone oh. where this, this thing is embedded. Okay. That it was built. It was laid in the year 1896. Oh, okay. What she told us was the foundation stone was laid in 1899. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I think, I think what we can see of there might be, I'm guessing, might be just the corner of St. Helens or Helens. Ah, St. Helens, because Saint there's Helens. another cottage which comes up there, yeah. uh, which is which named St. Helens Cottage. Yes. It was built later, after the church was built. So maybe that another After cottage was built, built like 1901, I guess. She told us it was the first, it's that no, but old I think the two St. Helens and Helens are both older than the chateau. Yeah, because they lived in St. Helens. Because that, there's a small cottage so further up, which is just below the road going around to the way. No, that's another one, that's another yeah, yeah. one. That's, that's above, that's the left side but of, both the, of, those are on of maps. the palace. Both okay. of those are on maps that predate the Karputala mm. chateau, as far as I know. St. Helens is even in the 1860s maps. Yeah. Does anybody recognize this? <laughs> Woodstockers? Uh, yeah. Mountain. Yeah, well done. It took me quite a while to think about well, that. I, I was there when they were starting to rebuild. They renovated on the stock part. It really, yeah, it was owned by the... the Kejirivals. Kejirivals, yeah. And um, they kind of... That's Woodstockers. People dream about coming up here all the time for the holidays and life just gets too busy, so houses get... That's Mount Helmand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I remember the old one. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. All right. yeah. Yeah. It's kind of, there's not much that there's looks the same. There, Even the roof in the middle has gone up. They, yeah. they, Woodstock changed it quite a lot. Well, that was a good thing. Okay. The, the I looked at this for a long time. 
and could not work out where it was. There's this kind of field down in the bottom right hand corner. And I, um, we made friends with friends of the Nagarwalas, and we went out to visit her place, and I went out in the backyard, and I went, but, there it is. <laughs> so it's actually, um, those of you that, that ever were young enough to go to Diodars, uh, and behind Diodars, there's another building, which, uh, something whole, which used to be uh, part of Diodars. Um, can't think of it, but that, that's the original building behind the Adars. So this is so the 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 field down the bottom, I think, is probably maybe the Gymkhana field, or maybe it's just the field before. So this is you so mean between Woodstock and the Jabba area? No, no, this is uh, Happy Valley. Happy Valley. Happy Valley. Happy Valley. Happy Valley. So this this is the Abbey, so and this is Everest House. Yeah. yeah. So um. The actual, the actual zoom, oh actually, before I do that, you, you can, can just see, sort of see the... Can you see Everest House? Yeah. No, yeah. I, can, I couldn't see it. Yeah, you can see it. I, I looked, now I got, sorry. I got mixed yeah. confused with the brave dance. Yeah, that, no. So this is, just the, this is just the corner of the Nook Tuba going up there, on the right. And then I zoomed in on, on the actual old map, and you can see this old house was called Loch Letter. And it's the ruins if you take the, the original walking track up to the abbey, not the motor road. And then the abbey you can barely see on the top there. And this here is Grant Castle, which is a wonderful double-story ruins that's still there sitting at the bottom. So the very first map that I've ever seen that has Missouri mentioned, I was just saying to Jeff and Susie before. Okay. <laughs> All happens that I heard. Yeah. Susie Swain. Um, <laughs> this is this is 1818, which is before Landauer, Missouri. You know, there wasn't even a hunting box. 1818. So it's actually a map of the dune, and I'll show you some zoomed-in pictures of it. But just the area I've circled red. It, it's it's uh, kind of on another map, and it says very interestingly that last sentence. Names and sites Missouri and Landauer inserted much later. These stations did not exist before 1827. Mm -hmm. So um, there were houses, but they weren't actually named. So, so somebody's taken an old map and just for the fun of it, added on. You can see Missouri, Landauer, and church, and then Where Bazaar. I, I really don't oh, know what. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. I should use this um, highlighter. Oh, not the highlighter. So the. Um, so where does it say bazaar? This is says bazaar right here, and I honestly I think it's just somebody's having a guess at land or bazaar, but it's in the wrong place really. Anyway, if you zoom in on that same 1818 map to the dune, this isn't really Missouri, but you can see down here Dera Dera or Gurdwara. So. The beginning of, in fact, there's some maps which only say Gurdwara because the um, Ram Rai, Guru Ram Rai, Sri Guru Ram Rai, he was the one who came from the Punjab, kind of excommunicated by the other Sikhs, bought his people and made an encampment here, a dera in the dune. And um, so there was a while that, that it was called one or the other, but this is Hati Barkala, this is Jakhan, this is Malsi Deer Park. All small villages. This is Nalapani or Kulunga. Mm -hmm. If you haven't been to the memorial on yeah. the very bottom end of um, yeah. Yeah. Sahasudara Road, which is famous for being the memorial to both sides, mm -hmm. yeah. the Nepalese and the British, um, it's, it's a nice little site. And down here is Captain yeah. Young's house. Yes. So Captain Young had a very grand house in St. Joseph's Academy, which a few years ago was pulled down, but this is obviously another place he had before he... And Frederick uh, Pahari Wilson's Asli Hall, his very grand house. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wilson was... Asli Hall. Oh, right. His summer house. Before he moved to yeah, Georgia. Yeah, the winter house. Yeah. 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 The winter yeah. house yeah. was the yeah. Asli Hall. Yeah. So the huge... great point for the summer. Yeah, it was like huge uh, orchard. So. Yeah. yeah. That's so, um, I've actually compared this map quite closely with the 1990 Survey of India map, and in actual fact, if you go in here, there's places like Danda, and then there's there's a whole bunch of these. Here's Raipur, R A E E P O O R, Raipur. So I mean, a lot of these other places exist as well. I've just highlighted a few that that everybody will know. I think. 
Now, this is the 1831 map, and it's the first kind of pukka map of Landara, Surrey that I've ever seen. And things that I love about it is that, number one, there's no house names. There's little red dots all over the map, and they're labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then the key on the left-hand side here is the names of people who lived there. So, you know, they may have decided, okay, Woodstock House, I'm going to call this house Woodstock, but this map didn't put the names, it just put the people's name on. Maybe once again thinking, we're here forever, you know. I don't know. Or maybe this was just kind of a local directory, I'm going to visit, you know, Major General, whoever, and you knew where to go. With such simplicity, can you read it? Can you read it? Yes. Yes. In fact, I've, um, th this is actually um, in uh, Virgil's, Virgil's book, book. Yes. and I tried getting a good copy. Virgil said, well, I've got it from Hugh Rayner in the UK, and he won't allow me to share it. Hugh sent me a copy, which is rubbish. You can barely read it. So during the holidays, I went to the British Library in London, and I, I saw an original copy. And it's not big. It's, it's only like this big. So I, I photographed it. Oh, is it <laughs> big post office bank for the whole bazaar. Um, so quite significant. And at different stages, I think 1916 it was one, one of the stages where they, the contonant said, listen, we can't be bothered taking care of the bazaar. We'll give that to the municipality to, to manage. And they slowly came more and more to the top of the hill. And there really, there's not much land that comes below the chuckers. One or two places it pokes down here and there, but they've really kind of retrenched back up into there. So originally the cant was actually the clock tower, it's the land or... Uh, mm. Right. Yeah, Parade Point House. Okay. That's the reason Parade Point House, because the parade's been parade mm. started from there, okay. Then so, on this map you can see a few N's here, and in, in the key N is, is Major Young. Mm -hmm. So you see up there he's called Captain Young, this mm -hmm. name of this room. So, um, right through his time from when he first came out here. And he's one of these amazing guys who, who came out here as an ensign right at the bottom and worked his way right up to general. Whereas his friend, Mr. Frederick Shaw, sure. who we first came up here hunting with, yeah. he came out here as a, a top um, aristocratic Governor sort General's of family. Son. So he was automatically yeah. straight into an officer mm -hmm. rank. Yeah. So um, interesting comparisons between those two guys. But in, in here you can see right here is... Um, is that Childers? Yeah, th this is Childers right on the end here. And down here is Oak, Oakville. Okay. And this is Lao Tiba. And you can see the Flag Hill Road. Off of, um, yes, going down the back here. Yeah. yeah. And so this is kind of like the small, well, it's not really the small chucker because see, the small chucker comes around the frontier. So yes. originally the road coming around by Bothwell Bank wasn't there. You'd have to go around the back of the hill. But you can still see that old road back there too, you know. Yeah. Well, that's that old path. That's still the chucker though. No, it's yeah, under Bothwell Bay Road. Oh, oh you, okay. It's, yeah, a, it's above the paved road, uh, about halfway along from uh, Oakland's Fairview or Oakland's, whatever you want to call Fairview yeah. now, Devdar Woods yeah, there's driveway a yes. to Oakland's. If you're looking up the up the hill, there's a oh, level yeah. in there that's got a lot of trees you could never, hardly yeah. even walk through anymore. That's a bit like just before Wolfsburg as well, there's yes. a high road there. Yes. So mm -hmm. um, we've also got um, the beginning of, where were we? There's this... Um, about where Rokby would be, and this is um, Charbi Khan, the church. Yeah. And then the road that goes up to St. Peter's. Yes, so St. Peter's mm -hmm. up on the top of the hill. So this is looking at the library end of, on the same map. So we've got here, we've got Waverley, and here we've got Radha Bhavan, and here we've got a water source, and here we've got, um, I think probably, um, I don't know what that would be. It's about where Albert is. I don't think it's done for a but it might be one of those. So down here we have, um, I think G, I think H or G maybe one of those is, is St. Helens. Um, and then we come right along the mile. So I'll show you what I've done with, with this map. Because I didn't know what the names of the houses were, I just had the names of the people, I, I superimposed the map different ways, but this is what I did for around Landauer. I just basically do a triangle between Lautipa, excuse me, um, Childers and Kohinoor, and then I did the same thing on a modern map, and in the middle is, I don't know, I can't see what that is now. Is that modern? No. 
Anyway, this just gave me a, a bit of a grid to work to so I could kind of compare. So I did make a long list of A's and I named all the houses for all the, all the different places. So that's one way. And then over at the other end of town, you can, can you see the, the grid I put on there? There's a very fine light blue grid. Yeah. Yeah, you can just see here. You can see it sticking out the side there. So I did a grid for both and stretched it and manipulated a bit. And then all these, all these places made, named A, B, C, D, E, I actually put a yellow donut on top of where it was. And this is how I know that their, their, their um, surveying wasn't really accurate. Because sometimes I'm going, well, that donut's sort of sitting halfway between two houses, which one is it? But um, there's the Priory um, and Waverley are all mentioned. Actually, the Priory's off the map, but the Priory is, when you come to Lal, Lal Bahadur Shastri Academy, up on the right there's a, a school which has got mm -hmm. four turrets. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's built mm -hmm. on the site of where the Priory was. And just down the slope, overlooking the driveway into the thing, is another building called the monastery, which is derelict now. Mm -hmm. And those are two very old sites. And there's little individual sheets of paper stuck onto a big cloth backing. And, and down here we've got a legend, which is kind of interesting. We'll just zoom in on there. Which shows you all the elevations. And what I particularly am interested mm -hmm. is that here it says, these are elevations all based from the great trigonometric survey done oh, by George Everest. Wow. So these elevations are based on sea level at Kanyukumari <laughs> and working way up 2,400 kilometers to Missouri bearing in mind the curvature, the changing curvature of the earth with triangulation the whole way up um, and like I was telling some students when we did an exercise at a George Evers Park House um, is that a triangle on a piece of paper has inside angles adding up to 180 degrees. But when you have a big triangle spread over a globe, they add up to more than 180 degrees. So all these calculations, all done with logarithmic tables, and double-checked and double-checked and double-checked. An amazing story. If you haven't read it, it's, the book's called um, The Great Arc. It's a fabulous book. But this has got... Um, I honestly can't read it. Where are my glasses? But, yeah, but no, Teba... Um, priory roof, abbey spire roof. Oh the abbey had a spire, fantastic. <laughs> Park house and chimney, Badraj, Hati, Palm Hill Station, and the top one is Landauer Hospital chimney. Wow. So, and then down here we got Green Mount, which is um, Castle Estate, Cocky Hall, which is some hotel just above the big blue shiva on the way up. Um, Missouri Church, Christ Church, it says Waverly, um, something, Mule, Mule Shed, um, down here at Bellevue. So these are all places, Hampton House as well. Which... <laughs> it is very racist. I love India, but it's very racist. It's, it's racist against some people, but it's very racist towards white people. So it's very easy for me, and I probably shouldn't take advantage of it, but... Yeah, you're working it's very easy to, to go in and just knock on the door, and Annie always used to laugh at me because I'd say, Namaste, many pass, bohut parana naksha hai. And, and um, so I'd say, Tell me the name of your boss, Chogidar, and I'll send you a copy of this old map, and can I have a look at the photograph? And you get the odd cup of tea and, and what have you, but knock it for all it's worth. Annie hides under the table. And it says tu tiri. You just see tu tiri, T E R E. So much for tiri. Um, Lloyd's Hill is um, Dedar Estate. That's the new one. Dara calls it Panther Hill. But somehow related to Bhavanish nephew, I think, from Patiala. Yeah. And um, he's built on top of some existing plinth, although he doesn't say he does. Rockville is the haunted house. Claremont and Cloud Art. No clue. I've looked and looked. I don't know what that is, whether it's a company or something. Up here, Flag Hill, we have a farm. Here we have Oakville. Here we have Elkhart Lodge. Doctor's House, which is kind of where Sanjay's built his palace in about there. We've got um, Short's Cottage, which is where Bale and whoever lived down the, the back of um, his family down behind Sister's that. Bazaar. Mm -hmm. Reynard's Lodge is what we call Hamilton House now. Buffalo Bank is an old place. Mm -hmm. um, that says Lautipa, this is Oakland's 
Um, Glenna is Cozy Nook. So it had another name there. And um, here we have a thing which is interesting. It says eyebrow. So, and, and this, this road here is called Wolf's Crag, which is the name of Tabor. Tabor was called Wolf's Crag. So, but this, actually, this is actually naming the road. Um, Buffalo Bank is there. Edge Hill is there as, as a single house. Woodstock's here as a house, but it's also Upper Woodstock. And then down here we have White Park Forest, although mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't see where the house is, but that's the, the Muslim house that got burnt out. Malagar. George's Hope is that very distinctive big building right up above where um, Kiran and Shiv live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we've got Hazelwood and Edenfell is a hospital house. Yeah. Lancer Lodge is there. The church, St. Paul's Rugby. Mm -hmm. Slakeville is an ITM school, which is kind of just below the road before, uh, yeah. as you go down. Mm -hmm. Why mm -hmm. Here's Wolfsburn. Oh, I haven't got a red triangle on that one. St. Peter's Church, Catholic, Catholic Church. Church. Yeah. Oh, this is Peterborough. So, um, where Victor Banerjee lives, Parsonage. it's called Parsonage, but it's actually called Peterborough, which I think is an interesting connection with Pete, St. Peter's, St. Peter's Church. Church. Yeah. So, his house is not actually in the original mm -hmm. location. It, it's kind of, was directly above Seaforth. I think it fell down and what got rebuilt was kind of a bit closer to the cemetery. Um, I thought the cemetery was on here, but I can't see that. So Children's Lodge is there. So these are all places that we're kind of familiar with, but um, here's the two places on top of um, Castle Hill Estate. The Oaks and the Acorns are still houses there. Cool. They're still there. This is, a, this is owned by the Nava family, Claridge's family, but it's in dispute. It's all locked up and falling apart. And these, these are all buildings that um, is where Weinberg School is. Which later yeah. became the Masuri Hotel. Bala Hassar, we talked about Zara Alan is. Um, Airfield is, is, is the Nubba Claridge's Hotel, that's the name of the estate. And Midstream is where the Skinner family lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is their original property, which has just been rebuilt. And just mm -hmm. below there is Sikander Hall, mm -hmm. which is actually built by um, the owner for all those annoying relatives that would come up and, and make his holiday so noisy. Yeah. So they built Sikandra Hall as kind of a... Cute. Go over there. <laughs> <laughs> which but is quite a grand stream, place. But isn't Midstream the one in which Dr. Senan lives? No, no, no. no. Midstream is before that. Just before Sikandra Hall. It's just been renovated. Okay. Brooklyn's is now the forestry people. Uh, Maryville is still in the States. And, and, and goes right down the valley to a nice, nice greeny area you can see from Landau. But a cottage had me confused. I thought, that, that doesn't look far enough down the hill. And down here we have Bata Village. So this is actually, was replaced by um, White, no, what's the name? Okay, understood. It's JP <laughs> Hotel is on top of the hill now. White but, House. <coughs> White House. No, it's not White no, House. No, 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 no. No. There was a castle there where all the, the manor, the, the St. George teachers would wander across that bridge. <laughs> And have right, right, right. Whit Castle, Whit, Whitman, Whitman Castle. Whit, Whitman, Whitman. Whitman Castle. So Manor, Manor House, all the St. George people are still called Manorites. That's, that's, and Fatih Chats is actually a mystery to me. But see down here it says Fair Lawn. Fair Lawn was actually um, the name of the palace built that's there the by palace. the Maharaja yeah, right. from the Nepal. Yeah, yeah. And so Kamal cottages yeah. are all around the yeah. side yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the green. Yeah. Looks like it shows the gate at Rajpur. There is there's Rajpur. Yeah, there's Rajpur itself. And it's coming down. And this is a stream down the right. I thought I thought there was a toll actually shown here, but well, oh, one yes. thing I didn't mention yeah. is this is big ugly black drawing on it is actually a plan for a future road. It wasn't there, and mm -hmm. some of them were never built. And I think this, you know, these might have been an optional routes, thinking how are we going to get cars to go up to Missouri. And interestingly enough, I mean... But in 1844? This cars? Was, no, this was a plan. Well, not for cars, but a plan for... Later. You mean yeah. these lines have been added later? Yeah, late after the okay. map. So this Can Craig, 
King Creek. Was there a plan to have a train King go Creek. to the city? Because there's a, yes. you go on the, tr the old trail, there's a tunnel. There was, but not, not up this side, up from Sahastadara, is my understanding. Oh, yeah. And it never happened, it was a financial problem, and also the crumbly rocks, very difficult to build tunnels. I, there's various stories, I don't know. So there's a house down here called Happy Gardens, which we visited, lovely old original house, and just below it is Dobigat. And this is a Dobigat that's right above the Masuri Lake. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a stream coming down from a spring which comes down through Dobigat down to the lake down here. Yeah. Yeah. So Cliff Cottage is still there, owned by Hampton Court. Uh, Cliff Hall was built down here later on, owned by a famous writer. Mm. Yeah. No, no, this is Hermitage. No, his house has got something else. That's an original house. That's a very old house. Um, uh, well, we're talking about somebody different maybe. Yes, maybe we're talking okay. about somebody different. Violet, Violet um, Bank is still there. Bas Basil Hall is now Kasmanda Palace. Grey oh. Castle is still oh. a house up on top of the hill above Christchurch, owned by Delhi. Well, let me have a look around. Mm. Little white dog mm. thinks it's an Alsatian. <laughs> and there's, there's Christchurch. And Parsonage, I'm thinking, that's about where Evelyn Hall is, so I'm just wondering if, if that was somehow linked to Christchurch Christ as well. Oh. Yeah. Bracely is now a, a hotel down the back. Il, Il's, Ilbert. Ilbert, Ilbert Manor. Manor. Uh, what's it called originally? Bracely. 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 And Misty Cot is, is a very old, tired um, holiday home for the people working in the telegraph and postal Maple Hayes is, is yeah. taken over by the, the yeah, um, yeah. Lao Bahadur Shastri people. It's right on a corner, just up on the left. It doesn't look anything like an old house. It's been totally changed, but there's that Maple Hayes on the sign spelled incorrectly. <laughs> and there's, there's Waverley and the Priory, which I mentioned, and the Hermitage is in there now. Mm. Sorry, not the Hermitage, the monastery. And then way out here, this is kind of like Flag Hill, way out this far end, which was later called Hearn Hill, just overlooking the polo field. There's the Abbey, there's Snowden Estate, as it was called back then, Hatipan Park House. Clover Lodge is being rebuilt. And I've been down to look for Silla, House, Silla Cottage, but I, I didn't find it, I ran out of time. And Log House is, um, if you want to find it, I'm 99% sure I've, I've located the plinth, the remains of Log House, which is named after logarithm tables, because this is where George Everest's men used to sit down and do calculations till the cows came home. Cloud End we've all been to. And then way out here, to... Yeah, there's a temple on top. It's, a, it's like a six kilometer walk from the end of the road. It's, it's a, a lovely walk. Yeah. And the interesting thing for me is that, um, oh no, it's not that road, but back here, this road here still exists. And it goes right down and it hits the road, the Kempty Falls Road, just before it gets to the jumping up. The last hairpin bend, it comes out there. And you can yeah. go up there on a motorbike, 24 kilometers on dirt, nasty mm -hmm. road, the whole way up. Wow. Ask Annie how dirty it is. Totally gone from landslides and just no need for that. So even in the 1946 map, you can see it's, it's now just become a, uh, a dotted line here. Um, down to Katakana. So, yeah. I, I'll just, I won't, I won't go through this, but this is um, looking at basically between King Craig and this is the um, Claridge's. And it actually takes a long time to really study this, but what I was trying to illustrate here was how the motor road slowly came up the hill. And, you know, there's King Craig in the middle of all these pictures, there's King Craig still. And the road, 1922, hadn't actually come around to join up over here. It wasn't until 1946. Yeah, and you can see, see the remains here of where the alignment used to be. They realigned it, and eventually by the next map that had disappeared. Um, but this King Craig with a with a government college, it's just called GH School at that point. At this area right here, there's a place called Sunnyview, and you can see on that hairpin bend there. That's where, just below King Craig, you can go through um, straight to Barlow Gunge or Rasking Take the new bypass road.
which yeah. comes right through Woodstock Estate. But on that corner, you can see it's quite a lot of orange because that, at one point, used to be the terminus for the buses before they got to King Craig. Mm. So it was actually the bus terminus for quite a few years, and then they extended on up to King Craig. Um, so Sunnyview is mentioned as being the Sunnyview bus terminal station. So just to finish off with, this is just looking very close to Edge, uh, Woodstock. So here's Woodstock School, 1922. Here's Edge Hill Villa, which is Woodstock Villa, where Marcus and Roberts live. And Cozy Corner. And Timberley. Yeah, and Cozy Corner's here. So this is, this is quite a main road coming down to Dobiga. <coughs> no sign of the new road. But what I found particularly interesting is that this house here is called Woodstock Cottage. We call it Tafta. Yeah. Woodstock Cottage, I'm guessing, was the name they gave to the principal's house. No, there's Tafton below that. No, no, it's not. No, there is something saying Yeah, I know. I was just going to mention it in a minute. Yeah. But, but um, Woodstock Cottage, when they built the new one where the Longs live, they said, well, principal's house, let's keep the principal's house as Woodstock Cottage. So they took the name and they thought, well, what should we call this existing uh, house? Well, they just finished building on top of a place that used to be called Tafton with the high school building. Oh, so they said, well, we'll just take that name. that name and we'll give it to, it. to Woodstock Cottage. So that wasn't the actual <clears throat> Tafton. So if you can imagine here at the corner of the quad, the mail room, mm -hmm. you would walk along the driveway out to the main gate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Orachi would go up the ramp, around onto the Peace Garden, around onto the Parsonage Terrace and back down <coughs> before there's any buildings there. And then along came the very beginning, so this is before Parker Hall, before the extension, which is the chemistry, the library, and the, and the learning center. Just a, quite a small well, building. Well, that's, that's high school up. without Parker Hall. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Parker Hall was built, well, see, 1946 is wrong, because Parker Hall was built before that. Yeah. But this map yeah. doesn't show it. Yeah. And here you can see a dotted line which represents the gym. Yep. Um, and this is... Uh, Upper, that's yep. um, Terry View. Now this is Upper Woodstock, so Cherry View's down here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then finally we, we've got the gym, shaped like it kind of used to be when some of us were young. Yeah. The old one. <laughs> and the high school, I can't understand what that is. It looks like Park Hall still not built, but it is. Yeah. Anyway, so that, that last map is 1968, which is this one here. And because there's so many houses by 1968, they stopped naming them and they gave them numbers. <laughs> so, in fact, on this one, there's a few numbers as well, but you've got to find all the numbers and find all the, all the houses. And so this is the map that's still available down at the Survey of India if you wanted to buy one. It has 45 rupees written on it, but it, it costs a bit more than that. Survey of India, with where? Hathi Barkala side. If you go down to um, Dilaram Chowk and turn right, and you go one and a half kilometers, on the right-hand side there's an entrance into this survey. And we thank you very much for your um, attention. I'm sorry it went on a little bit longer, but I hope you're interested, and enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.